Professor Elilwani Ramugondo is no stranger to UCT, with two decades of experience. She's even served as special advisor to the Vice Chancellor on Transformation. But she didn't get one of the top jobs at the institution when she applied. Her lawyer says the appointed candidate was lesser qualified. This matter came about um, when the University of Cape Town, being a public institution, uh, made a decision to appoint someone for the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Teaching and Learning who does not meet um, the criteria in the sense that they, uh, the selection committee uh, for the recruitment process had to prioritize black South Africans for this position. However, they then went against that and appointed a white Argentinian. As a candidate who was um, grade A during the selection process and someone of her caliber with experience of approximately um, 20 years at the University of Cape Town, um, she, she obviously does feel that you know she was overlooked, but not only that, uh, there were other uh, South Afric black South Africans who were um, who had just as who were just as qualified as she was, who were not appointed. The Black Academic Caucus is raising legal funds for this case and other black academics who may need support. There have been many instances at UCT, but not only at UCT, at many institutions of higher education where the equity process is simply just undermined. We feel that the targets are usually not met, or there are ways in which those targets, or the way in which the, 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 the targets are, um, are overlooked. The reason why we felt that it was important was because this is a strategic position. The current protests about curriculum change, which is at the <coughs> core of what students are asking must change about higher education, um, is, is precisely where we need leadership and we need strong black leadership. Makuvu says institutional racism in higher education often remains hidden. It's terms like, you know, you're not appointable or you weren't appointable, you know, you're unappointable. Or, you know, in some instances they'll say, you know, we wanted you to have this position, but we wanted to consider the stability in the department. The university says it stands by the appointment, which was supported by the selection committee, council and senate. It says the appointment process was fair, transparent and above board. Artie Narsi, Cape Town.